Hello, guys. I'm Thomas Saluanelli, Cisco Networking Academy instructor, the Turo University. I'm recording this video tutorial for GCO N223 group students from Turo University. Here's the problem. This problem is uh, from homework assignment. So in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to solve this problem, step-by-step -step explanation. So here is the requirement: number of needed subnets. Uh, we need four subnets. Number of needed usable hosts, 55. And uh, we have network address, 197.10.55.0. Okay, uh, first of all, we have to uh, find out the class, right? IP address, IP address class. So first octet uh, of the IP address indicates the class. It falls between uh, 190, 192, 192 to 23. So this is class C, right? Class C. Then default subnet mask in class C. We know that uh, that is 255. That 255. That 255. That zero. Now custom subnet mask. How to find out custom subnet mask? Here's the host portion. Fourth portion. Fourth octet is host portion. To create subnets, we have to borrow some host bits to create subnets. So for octet is host portion, as I said before, and that is interested octet for us. So because we are working on it, we have to borrow uh, some bits from this portion. So we have six, seven, eight. Now, this is the formula to the power of n. n is number of bits for subnet. Okay. To have four subnets, we of course need two bits. So we have to borrow two bits from host portion. Okay, so those two zeros, now no more zeros. Now those zeros are binary ones. So the edge between network portion and host portion is right here. And last binary one falls on 64, right? So here's uh, one. 28, sorry, 128, and here, 64. That is magic number for us, 64. Custom subnet marks is if we translate this binary number back to decimal number, we will get 255, the 255, the 255 dot 192 because 128 plus 64 it is 192 total number of subnets how many subnets we have okay how many subnets we created so how many bits we borrowed we borrowed two bits so this is to the power of two is four Total number of subnets, we have four. Total number of host addresses. How many bits we have left in host portion? We have six bits, six binary zeros in host portion. So this is the formula. To calculate total number of host addresses, okay? That is... 64, right? 64, total number of host addresses, we have 64. 
Now, number of usable addresses. So what's the difference between total number of host addresses and number of usable addresses? V minus two. So from 64, we subtract two because we don't use network address and broadcast address. Those two addresses is not assignable, not usable addresses. You cannot assign those two addresses to the hosts. So number of usable addresses, we have 62. And number of bits borrowed, how many bits we borrowed from host portion? So we borrowed two bits, okay? And this is two. We solve this problem. This is the approach how we start working on this problem. First of all, we have to write down host portion. So host portion is interested octet. Host octet is interested octet to us because we are working on it. We are borrowing some bits to create subnets. Okay? That's why we are calling host octet, host portion. Okay. We have done. This is the explanation. I hope uh, this video tutorial will be useful for you and you can uh, complete and you can solve other problems. Okay, thank you for watching this video.